The Israeli Prime Minister declared war following Islamists infiltrating Israeli territory in a multi-front surprise terrorist attack against civilians. Hamas burned our villages to the ground. One of those villages had an ambulance that stood ready to take kids from Gaza to Hadassah Hospital. They didn't care. They attacked everyone they saw. Anyone, Jew, Arab, Bedouin, Druze, Christian, Muslim. We're at war. Only the fourth in my lifetime. There is so much need. We have to focus so we can help in a way that matters. We focus on three areas the basic needs of soldiers in the field and their families back home, the education of evacuated children, and the harvest. Our reserve soldiers, 360,000 of them, were parents, high school principals, and business owners last week. And now they've been thrown into the middle of the desert. When they call home to tell what it's like, we all realize quickly, everything happens so fast. They don't have proper gear or food. They don't have helmets that fit, mounted cameras for evidence collecting, jackets for the cold desert nights. They don't even have proper shoes. We got them equipment, thousands of them, as much as we could find. We team up with ministries from across the country and city municipalities. We provide school supplies for kids evacuated from the Lebanon border to Nazareth and those evacuated from the Gaza border to central Israel. We even build a school from scratch together with the city of Ranana near Tel Aviv. As for the agriculture crisis that resulted from thousands of foreign workers fleeing the war, money can only help so much. Manpower is the key. So the Ma'oz team goes down into the field to harvest together with thousands of other Israelis who understand the ramifications of a food shortage. We pick tomatoes near the Gaza border to the sounds of explosions. This is our country. We have nowhere else to go. What we do have is the promise that this is where we are supposed to be and that all Israel shall be saved. <laughs>